Okay, I wanted to <coughs> go over a quick um, and simple way that I've just discovered to upgrade just about any uh, radio controlled transmitter or in fact any device that runs on AA batteries uh, to a lithium upgrade. <coughs> so I've got my Spectrum DX6 radio here which we turn it on and it boots up. We should be able to see 5.6 volts it's currently running on the um, alkaline double A cells. Um, so if we turn off, turn over, I'll put the radio down on itself. Give me one second. Take the battery cover off so we can see that there's just four alkaline double A cells. So uh, these new batteries that I have fairly recently discovered is a it's a 14500 uh, lithium ion cell so if the camera will focus maybe that's a bit better yep so that's a 2300 milliamp 3.7 volt lithium ion cell uh, approximately the same size as a standard double A cell tiny bit longer but generally they will fit into a double A size holder now obviously you can't put four of these into uh, the radio for example because it will damage the uh, electronics that's where you need something like this which is a double A sized dummy cell so this is shaped exactly like a double A battery except it has no uh, chemicals inside it it's just a conductor so using two of these and two of the lithium ion cells we can change the radio over to running on lithium all right, one second. So we've got <clears throat> we've got two of those uh, lithium ion cells and two of the dummy cells now residing inside the radio. So if we turn it around, uh, turn the radio back on, you'll see the voltage here is now showing 7.7 .7 volts, but the display is obviously wrong because 7.7 .7 volts is not. Uh, fully charged for these batteries. So we have to go into the menu, scroll down through system setup, uh, yes, go down to the uh, system settings, scroll down to the battery type, and scroll across to lithium ion. You'll see the low voltage alarm is now set for 6.4 volts. So if we then go um, back to the main main we'll see when the radio reboots that we're now showing 7.6 volts approximately half maybe a little bit over half charged and we're now running on lithium ion um, spectrum does sell a lithium ion pack for this radio uh, at, at the time of filming this video uh, those are approximately $70 Australian um, these two four lithium ion cells plus the four dummy cells cost me a total of approximately uh, $14 including delivery off eBay um, and I already had a charger that is capable of recharging those lithium ion cells so I hope uh, some people find this information useful please make sure that um, anybody in your household who's likely to use AA batteries knows that these are not standard double A size cells because if if you place one of these cells into a device that's designed for a double A battery you more than likely will destroy that device if you put too many of these in there alright um, thanks for watching